Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Victoria and I'm back with you for another tarot reading today. I hope you're all doing okay and safe in these difficult times and are looking after yourself and each other. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do tarot picker card readings and I do it on different subjects um, to do with relationships or what's going to happen in the future um, and different topics that are current sometimes I do as well. Um, today's reading is going to be um, what's going to happen in your own future, okay? This reading is for around six weeks to um, eight weeks, okay? So this, this will cover maybe the rest of the lockdown that we're in at the minute and a little bit after as well. So if you're new to my channel, I do pick card readings, okay? I have done different readings as well. This one's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to use some, um, try and channel in my intuition and try and get some messages from spirit as I do each um, deck of cards okay so if there's any spirit messages that come out to me I'll be writing them down on this piece of paper and I will fold them each one and I will put it under the earth what I mean by under the earth is I mean I'll put it under the soil okay on the ground and that way it will um, keep and go back to the nature and go back to um, mother earth and then maybe we'll wait to see what happens with the deck that you've picked to see if your reading um, um, takes, what you call it, uh, fruition. <laughs> Can't even remember the word. See if your reading manifests. That's the word I'm after. And um, let's have a look what happens or whether it's going on for you at the minute as well. Okay, so um, I'm going to meditate over the, the piles of um, cards that I have here. I've cut and um, shuffled and I meditated a little bit before but I'd like to meditate with you right now okay so I'm just going to give you a few minutes of peace and quiet so I can tune in to each deck as you pick the number as well to see if spirit will give me give me any messages to pass on to you as we do this okay so I'll be quiet now oh before we do the reading please could you subscribe to my channel and um, maybe share it to anyone who may like this reading as well and click on the notification bell because that will inform you of any new videos that I upload. Okay, so we'll get started. Give you a few minutes of silence while I meditate over the cards as well as you before you pick a number. So I'll be quiet for 30 seconds or so. Welcome back to those of you who've chosen deck one in this pick a, re, pick a number reading today, okay? So I will read out what tarot cards I have um, picked for you before. I don't know what's underneath them, okay? I don't know which cards have come out. While I do your reading, any um, messages from Spirit that come out, I will write them down as well so you can um, see what I come up with, okay? See what the Spirit wants you to know, see what tarot wants you to know for those of you who've chosen deck one. That's the Nine of Swords reversed, the Knight of Cups, oh, trying to get these cards in the shot, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So if there's any background noise, I am working um, to a tight um, filming space at the minute and there's um, a lot of people a lot of people working as well in the background I have someone here working on their job as well as I'm doing my own so we'll get clear this reading today for you okay let's just have a look what we've got here nine of swords no cups page of swords okay with this page of swords energy here I'm going to start with him because I see something new okay for you coming your way okay but things have gotten delayed I also feel like you had some kind of plan that you were, plan or project that you were um, thinking of doing, but everything seems to have been put on hold. I also think there could even be some delayed news that was coming your way that's all come to a stop at this precise minute. Okay, it could be to do with education, some kind of delayed education, or it could be with this King of Cups energy, some kind of um, offering or opportunity that um, was presenting yourself, but everything's been put on hold. That makes sense with what's going on at the minute. 
Okay, I think that you were quite disappointed as well what, with the um, the putting the stop to it. I also think that you have some kind of project or plan or even a new job, but something new coming your way that you've been thinking of doing that's in your head. It could be a new project idea to do with um, artistic um, skills or any crafts. Because the king, the Knight of Cups is a artistic card. It shows that you have a lot of um, lovely ideas or artistic skills that you um, are thinking of doing in some kind of project. Maybe even to make money with a Pentacles card here. But everything seems to have come to a bit of a delayed um, at the minute. But. Sorry, my throat went a bit dry then. But it's definitely a new project, okay? It's definitely delayed news uh, delayed news or ideas or any plans, sometimes to do with education. So you're thinking to yourself, how can I move forward? I've just heard. There you go. There's one. How can I move forward? Okay, I believe that that's the sort of question that you've been asking yourself right now. I've just heard that in spirit. I didn't, I heard that and I repeated what I heard. Okay, you've got this eight of pentacles here, okay? Um, the eight of pentacles is sort of, um, you really want to do a project. You really have it in your mind, okay? This is also the card of hard work and success, even in the reverse, Okay, it means you're working towards your goals, so you're going to work very hard towards your project and it will be successful. Okay, so wherever it is, you seem to have something in your mind. I feel okay, so I believe you have this idea, some kind of crafty artistic idea that you're thinking of doing. Also, the delayed news is the nine of um, the sorry nine of swords or so something has got delayed somewhere that's probably to do with education i feel like it's education also um sorry i'm trying to put these in the shot for you so you can see them clearly okay i truly believe that some kind of education thing has been delayed so you want to embark on a new project a new idea Okay, the Knight of Cups there is telling me that there's an offer coming towards you. While you're waiting for this offer, I feel like there's an offer coming towards you. You're waiting for the offer. You've got this idea of some artistic opportunity that um, you have. Your mind can, you've got the sort of mind that can't be bored. Okay, so it's a new project idea. Maybe you'll make a little bit of money and we'll give you something to focus on and a goal to work with. And you will make it a success because you've got the look, the Eight of Pentacles cards coming out here. Okay, it's definitely something new you've never attempted before. And um, it's definitely to do with education and ideas and opportunities. Okay, now that's why um, I think I feel like it's what came out of spirit is how can I move forward? So I feel like you're a bit on the um, spirit is telling me you feel stuck. So you have a bit of a restless mind. And um, you want to move forward with something. You're not going to let this delayed stuff hold you back. So this is not coming from tarot, okay? Holding, you're not going to let the situation that's dealing with you now hold, um, holding you back is what I've, I've just heard as well. So if that resonates with you, so how can I move forward? You feel stuck and you have this restless mind because you feel like you've got lots and lots, uh, lots of success in your future. And you do have because you, it's the, you have the success card coming out with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So it's definitely some kind of offering that you're going to have. While you wait for the offer, you're going to get on with this new project that will make you some money. And this is what's come out with you. For those of you who've... Um, but the Nine of Swords energy as well here in the reverse tells you you've had a few obstacles that you've had to overcome as well. So you're not one to let Oh, I just also heard again, um, hold you down, okay? You don't like being held back from doing what you have to do. 
So don't let this hold you back, okay? So while you're waiting for this offer, I believe it's to do with education, maybe something to do with university, school, um, maybe further education, you're waiting for that to come forward because everything has stopped. So you have this artistic idea, um, beautifully creative artistic idea, this beautiful Knight of Cups energy tells me that in this reading today that you want to make successful and I think you should go ahead and do it because you'll be successful at this I feel like it's a craft project of some kind something you can do with your hands I don't know if that resonates with you but that's something that came out with me as well so that's crafts and something I feel like you'll want to make something with your hands hand make something and maybe sell this as well eventually and that will be successful. So I'd go ahead and do that project that you are thinking of in the back of your head. Don't hold back and carry on and do that. Okay, I don't know if any of this resonates with you. But I'll take your messages from Spirit and I'll fold them. And what I'll do is I'll put the number one on to make sure it's from number one deck. Later, I will put them under the earth within my home. Okay? Okay. And I put them under the earth and let that come forward for you and see if that manifests with you in the next, I'd say, I'm seeing six to eight weeks for you, okay, around that time, see if that's going to come forward, that'll give you enough opportunity to think exactly what you're going to do. Okay, so that's the reading I saw for those of you who've chosen deck one today. Um, if you like that, please subscribe to my channel and I will upload more videos um, that you may like or check out my other videos on my channel. I've got a few there now of different types, relationships and things like that. So please um, feel free to check those out and I'll see you next time. And for now, bye bye. OK, bye bye. Hello and welcome back to those of you who've chosen deck two today and we'll read what's underneath the tarot and then any spirit messages that come out I'll write on the piece of paper I will fold them and I will bury them under the earth as I said in the introduction to my video okay so that let give the um the earth and what and the healing to go on so you can see what manifest manifests with you today okay so I hope you've chosen and meditated over number two and I have as well and I will see what's underneath these cards for you today okay so that's number two I haven't seen what's underneath so I can get good clear messages coming from spirit while I read that's the eight of cups the judgment I'm sorry for any background noise I have somebody else working in the other room busy working as well and the Nine of Pentacles, yep, he's at home, he's a key worker, so it's important he has to work. Um, and the Justice card, so if there's any background noise, please forgive me, these are trying um, times at the minute, and um, there's a lot going on with everyone, I think. Okay, so let's have a look what I see with this reading today. Okay, I already know where with the Eight of Pentacles here, it looks like you've walked away from some kind of uh, difficult situation. Either the, a situation or someone. You've walked away from something, someone, and you've left a bad situation, okay? That's what I see here for you, okay? Of course, the judgment means that things have come up, come um, come to head and have come to the end of something, okay? That's what I see if you, if it resonates with you, that's what Tarot is saying. Um, I also feel there was, is quite a bit of heavy energy around you right now. Um, it could not tears, I don't feel tears, I just feel um, a little bit low. Low mood, low, low energy, a little bit heavy. Um, because things are for you in a certain situation, someone you had to walk away from, okay? You thought, you, or I think you think that was for the best and in the long run, it will be for the best, okay? Because you've got this lovely nine of pentacles here, okay? Which means freedom, okay? So this nine of pentacles, I can hear freedom, independence and your confidence will grow. Now you've walked away from what was going on here. Okay, so things have come to an end here. Um, I don't know if it was a bad situation, but the situation you really uh, was sick of being in or some, it's saying something or someone 
you've left some kind of not very nice situation. And the Nine of Pentacles, lovely Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you'll have more freedom, more independence, more confidence, and I hear emotional security. And I need to learn to spell. And in, um, more financial security, I just heard as well. And also that makes more sense with you've got the pen nine pentacles here, which is, <clears throat> sorry, um, the money card. Okay, so I don't know if that makes sense for you. I really need to spell, but I'm writing it down as I, I can feel it, you see. So I'm rushing a little bit to write it. Now, you've got your justice card here. Now, when you see the justice come out, it always usually justice and judgment come together. They're a similar kind of card and they often come out in the same reading, I always find. I don't know if anyone else finds that if you've had a reading before or you, or you read tarot yourselves. But it's more when the justice comes out, it's like um, a cause and effect situation. So, um, oh God, it's awful to say this, but it's more like karma. OK, this is quite a reading for people who are Librans as well. OK, that comes out. It doesn't matter if you're not a Libran. It's more of a balanced type of reading. So it's telling me that, that your life was out of balance and you will find this balance and this peace that you desperately need. OK, and you deserve. And also, if you found that things were not fair, you felt like things were not fair, that all that will um, balance up now, OK, in the next few weeks. So um, if you're frightened of what's going, I just that's not in the tarot. OK, so uh, you might have been scared or frightened of your future. OK, but tarot is telling me that it will be absolutely fine when this period here passes of what um what you walked away from you will be fine okay because you've got this balance and this harmony that's coming and you're going to find that for yourself because the nine of pentacles is telling me this is this is something that you're going to do you have to do this on your own okay it's this emotional this freedom card okay that you needed to do it's um, almost like you're saying you're free, okay? That's how I see. You feel free. You might not at the minute, but you will do, okay? So um, anything that was um, holding you back, you're going to feel this beautiful emotional, emotional freedom, emotional security um, that you never, ever really thought you had the guts to do it, but you will and you move forward. So I don't know if that resonates with you, okay? Um, in this reading but this is what tarot is saying to me for those of you who um, have chosen pile two today okay which is an interesting reading when you first took it out uh, the eight of cups here with you being walking away from something that wasn't comfortable okay something someone or a situation that you weren't comfortable in you definitely walked away so this is something that's in the past and um, you'll move your life forward from now on in the next six to eight weeks. And I see lovely opportunities coming for you. And you will take them because you'll become more independent, more emotionally stronger and financially stronger as well, I hear. Okay, so I will fold that up for you. And I will write um, pile two or deck two. And I will bury it under the earth outside in my own home and I'll leave it there for the next six to eight weeks so you can um, um, let your um, this tarot reading manifest for you okay let's let's give this a go I have done this before and I just like to give it a chance to clear in this uncertain times do you know what I mean right i'm going to do the reading for deck number three straight away i think so i haven't read the cards and i don't know what's in them so um, or any of you who've chosen deck number three today i'm going to go straight into the deck number three reading because i think that's the way i have to be um reading the cards today okay so that's pile number three for those of you who've chosen pile number three welcome back and um we'll have a look what your cards are saying to you i've not seen what's underneath these cards today i will flow and try and get a spirit is actually telling me to um for some reason i've gone to talk a little bit faster i don't know if you've heard that i feel like um 
my voice has gone almost like it's more anxious. I don't know if you can hear that. Right, you've got the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Spirit is telling me you have to have your reading quite quickly. I don't know why. Two of Wands here and uh, Knight of Wands. I apologise for any background noise. I do have somebody working in the other room who um, is a key worker and um, he's very, very, very busy right now. Okay, so I can't really stop what he's doing, so I'll just continue what I'm doing. And that's the strangest thing. As I was um, reading, the door opened by itself right in front of me there, and that freaked me out a little bit. To be fair, you can't, uh, you didn't see it on camera. It's just in front of me. My door just opened, and it's actually shut with the handle. I didn't see the handle turn. Just the door opened as soon as I mentioned key worker. Wow. Ooh. I think that's why I've calmed down a bit now, that my energy was absolutely rising, 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 rising. I've actually calmed down quite a bit to do this reading. Okay, now, I feel like with this Nine of Wands energy here, I feel like you're worried about something, okay? Or you have some kind of concern that you've been stressing over. And with the Nine of Wands is telling you to calm down, okay? I think that's why my, I, I felt anxiety then. I did, just before I did the reading, the door opened, I felt anxiety as I was, um, just before I read, that's why I had to go straight into pile number three. I felt like it's everything's becoming a big rush, okay? And you have this anxiety that's going on. Okay, so I'll just explain why I'm writing it down if you didn't read my, hear my introduction. Um, I will write down any messages that I feel has come from spirit and I will fold the paper and I will bury it under the earth in uh, my my garden, okay? And I'll leave it there for between six to eight weeks. So I'm just trying to give the chance to clear energy of the tarot and for you and to just get back to nature, if you know what I mean. And the earth is a great, the soil, what better and more natural than soil? Okay, let's carry on with this reading. Right, the Knight of Swords, again, the Knight of Swords is reversed. Well, the Knight of Swords, usually with his sword, if it's in the, he's turtling towards you, galloping towards you. If you can imagine a knight on a sword galloping to rescue you, okay? But this is reversed. So this is all got to calm down, okay? So you might even be worrying for nothing, okay? There is some kind of situation that is a concern for you at the minute, okay? So it's telling you you're overthinking everything and it's telling you to treat yourself better and just replenish yourself, okay? I almost feel like you're getting ready for something, okay? I've just heard getting ready. You're getting ready to um, um, deal with the situation, I don't know if that's um, resonating with, with you or if that makes sense to you, okay? So I feel like you're getting ready to deal with some kind of situation. I think that's why my voice started to rush as I went straight into the cards. We've got this lovely Two of Wands energy, okay? Now, there you go. I didn't even read that Two of Wands yet. The Two of Wands is saying to me there is some kind of situation you have to deal with and you feel like you're not ready. This is what it's telling me, okay? Uh, it's more important to establish your boundaries of what you want before you rush into anything. So this is why it's telling you to calm down, okay? And think about what you want to do and where you want to be. Don't make any hasty decisions now. You need to set these boundaries before you rush in, okay? Because I can see this beautiful Knight of Wands at the end, okay? This is your energy and your confidence. You feel like you haven't got enough energy and confidence right now to go forward and make a decision about something that's going on with you. Okay, but with a beautiful Knight of Wands energy holding it up into the sun, the wands up into the sun is showing me that all your energy is going to come back. Okay, if you've been feeling quite low, this is what's telling me here. You're worrying about the situation, maybe overthinking, overanalyzing it a little bit too much. This also, too, wands is telling you you're not ready to make a decision. It's an important decision. Just establish some boundaries, some rules. Okay. But this lovely um, Knight of Wands will tell me that you will become fearless, okay? So whatever's scaring you in between eight, six to eight weeks, you will become less fearless. And that's when you'll be making your decision and just hurtling forward. Because with the Knight in the Swords, it's telling me to relax and to not worry. And the Knight of Wands is telling you to proceed. So I don't think you're ready to make the decision just yet that you um, 
that I see you making, okay? But it will come back to you, okay? You're going to be brave and you'll be ready to take on the world, but not just yet. Just take your time. Look after yourself. Look after what's going on. I don't know what is your situation and what concern you have that's worrying you because it's definitely a concern that's worrying you. Something that's in your head that hasn't been sorted out. Okay, it's just telling you to be a little bit um, good to yourself is what I hear, okay? I feel you could have even been a bit under the weather in some kind of way, okay? I just hear that you've been, um, things have not been great for you and there's some kind of decision you have to make that you're not happy to make right now. It's just telling you just to establish your boundaries with this two of wands and then you will be brave and fearless and you will move forward and you will get it done because that's a, ultimately that's the sort of person you are. It's just going to take a few weeks, okay? Now, I was doing the reading. I've been um, channeling spirit messages as well. So it says it feels like you're in a rush. Uh, you have a bit of anxiety, okay? Getting ready to deal with some kind of situation okay that you're not ready with and it's telling you to be good to yourself so those are the messages i got through when i was doing your reading there okay so i don't know if that resonates with you it's telling you to look after yourself and then deal with this situation here and that's what i feel like for you those of you chosen deck three i don't know if that resonates with you but what i'm doing with each um deck that i do I don't know if you heard the what I will do in the um, introduction of this video, but I will um, bury under the earth each, and I'll bring them forward now, okay? That's deck one, deck two that I wrote down, I put to the side, and deck three. I will put that under the earth right now, as soon as I finish this reading, and I'll leave it there under the earth near me between six to eight weeks, okay? To give this chance for each of your readings to manifest because you've had what situation and you've had the outcome in each of the readings, okay, today. So this reading was especially for you. Sorry for any background noise. And if you like this reading, I do have others on my channel that you're very welcome to check out. And um, I will be uploading more. Sorry about the makeshift table. I've been pushed in the other room. <laughs> So I have to film as I can because I think um, um, the person that's in the other room talking, I don't know if you came in the background, is actually a key worker and he's extremely busy at this challenging time. And I'm sure you'll understand and I'll be back when they, everything's sorted out with my own space back again. They've monopolised my desk. Okay, so check in with me again. I will leave you with that reading and please subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow. Check out, I will check back with me anytime. I have other readings that might help you. I will be uploading more on this channel. Turn on the notification bell. I always forget to say that. And then you'll be um, notified of any of my new readings. Okay, so um, I'll see you soon and take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, bye bye for now. Bye bye.